71 detainees who are alleged members of CJNG or Cartel Santa Rosa de Lima will be charged in Guanajuato. The Guanajuato Attorney General Office announced they were pursuing charges against 71 detainee cartel members. The announcement was as follows. On November 15, 2022, in a press release and press conference, the Guanajuato Attorney General Office announced they had recently coordinated 20 simultaneous police raids to capture cartel members in the state. They also reviewed some of the 71 alleged cartel members who they have charged with crimes in recent months. It appears the 71 detainees were not all captured during the aforementioned simultaneous raids, but were actually captured over the course of 108 different search warrants. The announcement focused on giving details about cartel members who were believed to have participated in a narco blockade which killed three, including a tourist, last week. They also focused on detainees who are believed to be involved in the daily Pantano Bar shooting. Details about some of the detainees' affiliation to the cartels were not given, but in some cases, we can make up an idea which detainee belongs to which cartel. Some of the detainees were as followed. A man named Angel Leonardo N., from Laja Bajio area, was arrested for allegedly leading a cartel group, which participated in acts of arson and terrorism. It likely refers to the creation of narco blockades. It is not clear who he's a part of, because both CJNG and Cartel Santa Rosa de Lima have created blockades this year in Guanajuato. Arturo N. was classified as a generator of violence who was also arrested in Celaya. He was just described as a generator of violence with no other details given. In Irapuato, Jose Gustavo N., alias El Chaparro, was arrested for his alleged participation in multiple homicides. Sergio Arturo N., alias El Diablo, is accused of more than 20 criminal acts. Among them is the October 2022 attack on El Pantero Bar, which left 12 people dead. No message was left behind at the crime scene in which a group claimed the attack. Alejandro N., alias El Guipis, was arrested and charged for his probable involvement in the May 2022 shooting at the Gala Bar in the city of Celaya. Multiple narco messages were left in the area after the attack. The messages were signed by the Cartel Santa Rosa de Lima cartel in which they claim responsibility for the attack. This makes El Guipis a likely member of Cartel Santa Rosa de Lima. It sounds like it was a very good day in the state of Guanajuato, a state that is going through a lot right now. A lot of pain and a lot of chaos is going around in the street of Guanajuato every night. I just hope that none of them are innocent and become a victim of false imprisonment, which is something that sadly happens a lot in the country of Mexico.